Today, we're going to talk about the latest release of MX Linux version 23.6, which dropped on April 13, 2025. Whether you're a long-time Linux user or just getting started, this update brings some great improvements to the table. So, let's break it down. Let's start with the basics. MX Linux is a Linux distribution based on Debian, which is one of the most stable and reliable systems out there. MX is known for being fast, lightweight and super user-friendly. It's especially popular with people who want a solid system that just works without needing to be a Linux expert. It comes in several editions. The main one uses the XFCE desktop which is light and easy to use, but there's also a KDE version for those who like a fancier look and a Flaxbox version for ultralight systems. There's even a special version for Raspberry Pi devices. So what's MX Linux 23.6 all about? This isn't a brand new version of MX, but more like a refresh or update to the existing MX 23 series. It brings in bug fixes, application updates and kernel improvements to keep things running smoothly. And here's some great news. If you're already using MX Linux 23, you don't need to reinstall anything. Just run your updates like usual and you'll get all the changes automatically. Easy, right? Now, let's get into what's actually new. MX Linux 23.6 is built on Debian 12.10, which is codenamed Bookworm. Think of Debian as the engine that powers MX Linux, and with this update you'll get all the latest stable features and fixes from Debian 2. If you're using the XFCE edition of MX Linux, you'll now get XFCE version 4.20. This brings small but helpful improvements, for example, the login sound system now waits for the audio system to be ready before playing a sound. That means no more missing your login chime. There are also better wallpaper settings, especially helpful for people using older 32-bit computers. So yeah, the desktop is smoother and less glitchy, which is always a welcome improvement. One of the best things about MX Linux is its set of custom tools that make life easier. In this update, several of these tools have been improved. The MX Package Installer helps you install apps more easily. The new version has a better design and handles Flatpak setup more smoothly. It also does a better job of asking for admin permissions when it needs them. UEFI Manager New Tool This is a brand new app for people using UEFI based systems, which is most modern computers. It helps manage boot options directly and it even lets you boot your system without using Grub. Handy for advanced users. It's also now linked to the existing MX Boot Options app, so everything works together. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, there is a very important fix in this release. Previously, if you used certain kernels above 6.11, you'd need to manually generate a special config file called zorg.conf to get your NVIDIA drivers working properly. That's now fixed. No more messing with config files, it just works. Let's talk about the AHS version of MX Linux. AHS stands for Advanced Hardware Support and is designed for people with newer laptops, CPUs or graphics cards. It now uses the 6.14 Liquirix kernel, which is more up-to-date and optimized for newer machines. Many Realtek Wi-Fi drivers that used to require separate installations are now built into the kernel, so your internet may work out of the box. Also, the kernel now auto-updates, so you don't have to worry about manually checking for newer versions. If you're running MX Linux on a Raspberry Pi, the Pi Respin version has also been updated, and now includes all the latest packages from the MX repositories and updates from Raspberry Pi OS, so your tiny little Pi device stays just as fresh and secure as your regular PC. Speaking of kernels, here is a quick summary of which one you'll find in each edition. Standard editions like uh, XFCE, KDE, Flaxbox now run on Linux kernel 6.1. AHS edition uses the newer 6.14 Liquirix kernel. If you don't know what a kernel is, think of it as the core engine of your Linux system. These updates make sure you get better hardware support, performance improvements and security fixes. 
And here are some other smaller but still important updates. Many language translations were updated, making MX Linux more accessible around the world. Loads of bug fixes were included, improving overall stability. Several new applications have been added to the MX Test Repo, a special place where users can try out newer or experimental apps. So the big question, should you install MX Linux 23.6? If you're already using MX23, just update your system, you'll get everything included in this refresh. If you're new to MX Linux or want to try it out, now is a great time to install it fresh. You'll get all the latest fixes and features right out of the box. Whether you're using an older computer, a new one or even a Raspberry Pi, MX Linux has an addition that fits your needs. So to wrap things up, MX Linux 23.6 is not a flashy, groundbreaking release, but that's exactly the point. It's focused on stability, reliability and quality of life improvements. All things you want in a system you use every day. It's one of the most beginner-friendly Linux distros out there, but also powerful enough for more advanced users who want to tweak and customize their setup. That's it for today. If you found this overview helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Linux content. Also, let me know in the comments, are you using MX Linux right now? Have you tried this new 23.6 release yet? Or are you thinking of switching from another distro? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.